Hello, I'm Glenn Mills, uh, head coach and director of football operations for the Essex County Ravens Football Club. I was going through some stuff at home and I, I pulled out this shirt um, 10 years ago. You know, uh, the highlights come up and uh, it was something that was pretty special for a, for a great group of guys and a great group of coaches. And, uh, you know, we went on a, a four game win streak at the end of the season in the playoffs and traveled almost 7,000 kilometers in four weeks to, to uh, win an OPFL, uh, OVFL championship back then. It wasn't the OPFL, but an OVFL championship. It ended up in Ottawa in a triple overtime, probably the most exciting game that was ever played in the Ontario Varsity Football League. It was absolutely incredible. We were up and down all season. Um, you know, we lost, we were five and three. We ended up being a sixth seed. Um, so uh, we were traveled. We, we knew we were gonna travel on the road. We were very, very talented. We lost a game by one. Um, we had lost another game by three. And we lost the game to the Sioux earlier in the season. Uh, first time they ever beat us in the history of the Ravens. Um, we had turned the ball over 10 times when we played them there. And, they, and then we ended up uh, getting to be the sixth seed. So we got in. Um, you know, we had to travel. I think our first road game was the Sioux, I believe. And then uh, we had to go back, come back home. We beat them. I think we beat them by 40. And then we come back home. We went to Mississauga. We were down 28 nothing in the first quarter. Ended up winning 49-31 um, total. And then we traveled to Hamilton. Hamilton was the number one seed, uh, you know, touted as, a, as probably the best team in the province. And we beat them up pretty good in the Sky Dome. Uh, we beat them 30, I think it was 35-18 or 35-15 and, and, and beat them up, like I said, pretty solid physical, physical, physical game. And, uh, and then we went to Cumberland, who was a very, very good football club. And, uh, you know, I'll never forget, um, we're down eight points with about a minute 12 to go or something like that. And, uh, and I still, still see Austin Kennedy, he says, coach, we got it. Like, they were not honestly the least bit concerned. He went out there, drove us down the field. I think we scored uh, the six points. We were down two, went for two. I think there was about eight seconds left on the clock by the time we, we had orchestrated the drive and, and uh, we dove it. Um, Thomas Whitfield made, or not Thomas, sorry, his brother Dylan made a catch and dove it over right for the two-point conversion. The guy was standing right on the line and, uh, and I'll never forget, we went to overtime and then uh, it was Texas shootout. So we started off at the 35. I think we scored, they scored, Cumberland, and then we got the ball first, we scored, and then they scored, and then uh, we got the ball again next time, we scored, and then P.J. Bayless made the tackle of the game, um, probably stopped the guy about six inches short of the first down to win the game. And it was crazy because it was so close. I remember all the kids, they, they said, Coach, we got it, and they all ran on the field. And they hadn't even measured. And I'm screaming for all the kids to come back. I said, guys, they got to measure. This is close. They got to measure. And then they, we ended up clearing the field. We were able to clear the field and, and get a measurement in. And, and the, again, about a half a foot short of a first down. And we ended up winning in triple overtime. And uh, I'll tell you, it was just a great group of guys, a great group of coaches that, that believed in what we were doing and just, uh, you know, and knew, just knew that they could pull it off. It was crazy. And you go back and you go, wow, 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, I still remember the group of guys and I still remember some of, some of the, you know, greatest moments of that whole season. There were so many good ones. And, and I mean, that team was very, very talented. We had Whitfield and we had Terrence Crawford and we had Austin Kennedy and Darnell Walcott. And, and I mean, on defense, we were loaded on defense as well with a ton of great players. Um, it, it was just, it was just a, a great year, a lot of fun. We traveled, I think, 6,497 kilometers or something in, in a span of four weeks. Um, you know, and to do it on the road. I, I think it still might stand, but we were the only team ever to travel four playoff games to win a championship, to be a to, to be a road team right from the beginning, a six seed and win it. I got a plaque here. It's just a, a different bunch of angles of our championship ring that Barons did for us. Um, that talks about kind of the season. It has the triple overtime. It has our motto on there. It says hated by some, feared by most, respected by all. And that was something that was incredibly important to us. Thanks for watching this PowerPlay Sports flashback. Stay connected to your sports community. PowerPlaySportsVideo.com.